All right, Mr. Arch Cannon Tarvus. What you got for me? Lord Levesque must conserve his remaining energy, so we need to solve this problem on our own. It all comes back to Chodala. That damned Ashland is draining the warrior poet's power. We need to stop him and get that damned staff. I agree. So what's the plan? Uh, Shunra makes Chodala invulnerable. Invulnerable. How do we circumvent the staff? <clears throat> How should I know? That's not a skill the tribunal teaches. Return to Barozar's tower and get Sothisil's former apprentice to come up with some kind of countermeasure. I'm sure he knows more than he's told you. I do have one concern, though. Just one concern? You see right through me, Outlander. I have more worries than a Kwama queen has eggs. I'm talking about Chodala's sister. Saren claims to want to help, to want peace. She does. But I don't trust her. I do. Seek out Barozar, but be wary of the Ashlander's sister. I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry, but I do believe she has good intentions. But I guess we'll find out here in a little bit. I'll return to that place tower uh, uh, and see if she knows, if he knows uh, how we can circumvent Chodala's staff. <clears throat> we need to stop Chodala, and to do that, we need to find a way to overcome the device he's wielding. Find Barozar and make sure that crazy mage provides you with something we can use to save Lord Vivek. Can we, uh, can we be certain that the staff is required to save Lord Vivek? Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? No. But by all accounts, we'll be better off with Sunara in our hands and away from Chotla. That won't be possible, however, as long as the Ashlander remains impervious to every attack. Okay, but really quick. Why don't you trust Saren? The female Ashlander? Yeah, her. Well, if that wasn't enough of a reason, remember that she's also Chodala's sister. Blood sings to blood, as the warrior poet so elegantly put it. Be wary of that one, Outlander. She'll stab you in the back. Mark my words. I don't think she will, to be honest. Just because she's an Ashlander, it's basically saying, Hey... Uh, you don't believe what I believe, so I dislike you. You know what I mean? It's like, people can have difference of opinions, and just because they don't belong to to your faction doesn't mean that the other faction is bad inherently. Uh, and especially in her case, because she does have good intentions, at least as far as I can see, but we'll see here in a second. But, uh, why, why does Vivek's condition threaten Bardenfell? Vivek loves this land, and the land loves him in return. He's always had a special bond with Bardenfell. Is it so hard to believe that Red Mountain reflects his suffering? Beyond that, there's also Bardao, the moonlit that floats above us. Well, tell me about Bardao. Lord Vivek's intervention stopped the moonlit from crashing into the city. He holds it above us by strength of will. But as he weakens, so too does the power that keeps the rock afloat. If Vivek's energy wanes further, it would spell disaster. Yeah, I mean, I saw, I, I knew it. That's why every once in a while I'll look up and make sure that the rock is still floating. Because if it's not floating, Vivek is dead, basically. Or has no power. Which, to be fair, look at him. He's not even floating at all anymore. He's just sitting down now. He's at the end of his rope. What are we on? Divine oh, Intervention. <clears throat> I kind of moved the chat box. Oh, uh, well, you can't even really see because the my face is huge. But I moved it right there. Uh, just because it's a little bit easier for me to see. So where am I going exactly? Okay, so back there again. It's not too bad. Since there's a way shrine literally right there, right next to it, so we could just fast travel there, hop on our little pony. Right behind you, partner. And then ride our happy behinds all the way up there. I'm so excited, dude, because um I kind of been grinding Bastion and uh, Miri's rapport. Uh 
after I did their quests, I kind of stopped in terms of re report grinding. Uh, I just maxed out all of their, you know, skills and everything. And unlocked everything, I should say. So they're maxed out on everything now, including report. It was the final thing I needed to do, and I'm so excited that that's finally done. So these companions are complete. I wanted to do it before the two new companions came out, you know? Which is uh, Isabel and Ember. I'm excited for them by a lot. Where is he? Oh, he's in here. Tower under structure. <clears throat> what is going on here? Let's go. Who are you? Oh, no. Hit him! Whoa, I had some hardcore lag. He was... She was not doing what I wanted her to do. Kind of a sad state of affairs that was, actually. Bar literally blah, 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 you. So hard to concentrate and maintain schedules when interruptions constantly occur. Don't they know the great gear never pauses in its rotations? So that was you up there. Uh-huh. I appreciate the assistance. Daedric entities can be very unpredictable. Uh, why were Daedra attacking you? Logic has very little place in the behavior of Daedra, my hopeful associate. <sighs> Studying the fabric of reality does tend to attract unwanted attention. But these creatures appeared just before you entered my tower. I wonder, why have you returned? Well, I mean, I located Sol uh, Sol uh tool. But but it's it's been altered to steal Lord Vivek's divine energy. Ah, a modification of my master's old experiments, turning a simple tool into a dangerous weapon. Ingenious, evil, yes, but also quite brilliant. I mean, that's fair. A tonal inverter should counter it. Uses sound waves to temporarily disrupt the flow of energy. Do you have a tonal inverter I can use? No, of course not. I just invented it. I need proper <laughs> components to build such a device. My hirelings scour the land for materials all the time. Here's a list. Head out the back door and ask them to direct you to these common dwarven components. To be fair, you didn't just invent anything. You just conceptualized something. You thought of something. You had an idea. That doesn't mean you invented anything. You can't patent uh, or can you pet an idea? I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, uh, where can I find these hirelings of yours? Hirelings? <laughs> yes, they worked for me before they quit, ungrateful netches. Still, I paid them well before the pistons slipped their alignments. They should know where to find the components. Last I heard, Snorfin and the others were in Molagmar. Uh, do you think the danger will return, uh, to trouble you? situation has wound dangerously tight but I believe the gears revolve around you. Once you leave I should be perfectly safe or at least as safe as I ever am in the midst of all these experiments you however stay vigilant my friend I don't know why but every time I see this guy his outfit does not look that good. Like it, it just he doesn't look that good I don't know why I think it's just too much green. Too much focus green you know too much of any one color. Probably the only exception is probably like black. Um, or even white, you know, since they're like somewhat neutral colors. But um, green, too much green, too much red, too much blue. Blue is my favorite color and too much blue, I would even say, is, it looks not good. Uh, in this case, obviously too much green. But anyways, can you tell me more about these components you need, to f uh, need me to find? I could, but I won't pour five-year-old Flynn into a cracked decanter. No offense. Suffice it to say, they're fairly common as far as Dwemer components go. Use the list and talk to my former <coughs> hirelings. I'll build the device the moment you return. Okay. Who this? It's a little 25 or 26, something like that. He's a little baby. It's probably just a new character, to be honest. It's not very often you see actual new people in the game. 
Okay, so at least we don't have to go very far. Let's go, Bastion. We got somewhere we gotta be. Yeah, so it's like I finally got a Bastion and Miri's keepsake. So I was actually pretty stoked, man. Pretty happy that I got a Bastion and Miri's keepsake finally. Uh, whatever it is I'm looking for should be right around here somewhere. Man, I really wanted to jump, but I pressed the button too late. Obviously. Oh, no. Oh, well, there's a bridge right there, so it's not all bad. I really thought I was going to have to be forced to go all the way around. Molag Mar. Oh, I can't even get up there, can I? No, Monica. Oh, yes, I can. Woo. It's not all bad. Come on, Bastion, keep up. Hello. I feel like such a puny snowback hiding here in Molag Mar. But you don't want to hear about my troubles. What can this broken Nord do for you? <laughs> uh, Baril Lazar sent me uh, to talk to you. He said you could help me find items on this list. Baril Lazar, he's the reason I'm a shattered man. Doomed to become a cowering sheep like the rest of these pilgrims. Uh, all right, let me see that. Hmm, Arkhamfung Stordoms. You can find a Sonnen's generator there after you deal with the steam trap. What's this about the steam trap? The cursed contraption. I almost had it figured out when a ghost floated up to me. No problem, I think. But then it enters a centurion. Ghost machines. No sane Nord can fight ghost machines. I dropped my notes and ran as fast as I could. Ghost machines? Alright, let me, let, let's try it. Let's try this right here. You left your notes in our our go I'm not gonna try it. Uh, because of a few ghosts? Not just ghosts. Ghosts that possess dwarven machines. I'm through working for that crazy old mage and his clockwork monstrosities. But if you want to get past the steam trap, find my notes and follow the directions. Okay, good, good to know. So that's one of the three people that I gotta speak to. The next one seems to be literally just right here, but up above. So I need to find, like, some stairs or something to... Oh, found, found it. I didn't even need to get up here. Oh, hello. That was easy. If you're another pilgrim <laughs> looking for charity, I suggest you move along. I have neither the time to waste nor the gold to spare. I'm currently between employment, and my own funds have become dangerously depleted. Is she, is she a Breton? I think she's a Breton. Uh, Barilzar, Brilzar, or whatever your name is, uh, sent me to talk to you. I need to find uh, the items on this list. Let me see that. What's that crazy mage need this time? I don't know. Hmm. I suppose you could find a manual clockwork shaft in the Nichu left ruins. But I'd avoid that place if I were you. If the roof doesn't collapse, the constructs will rip you apart. Well, Barilazar, uh needs to build something important. So tell me how to find the manual clockwork shaft, please. If you insist. Deep in the ruins churns a big machine. When I was there, it sputtered and vibrated, collapsing parts of the ceiling. Lava and rock fell everywhere. You need to get past that and some nasty constructs to retrieve the item. Why don't you work for Burlazar anymore? That mage is a menace. Oh, he always paid well, but the places he asked me to go, each was more dangerous than the last. And if I had to hear about the great gear one more time, <laughs> for my own health and sanity, I had to break ties with Barrels are. Makes sense. Goodbye. So the last one's in here somewhere. Did it say below? Yeah, it did say below. Oh, he's literally right here. Oh, it's a she. Damned vampires. I'll find a way to make them pay for what they did to my brother. I swear it on the tribunal and any Daedra willing enough to listen. What do you want? Can't you leave a person to her anger and her grief? Um... Brilliza uh, Brilizar said you could help me locate items on this list? <laughs> he did, did he? Uh-huh. Let me see that list. 
Well, the crazy old maid always said there were no coincidences. The inversion conduit. I saw one in Gloom Deus, right before I barely escaped from those damned vampires. Wow, that is... That is kind of a coincidence. Uh... Tell me about these damned vampires. Eager to become cattle for the <coughs> bloodsuckers? Uh-huh. The Burn Clan killed my brother. Damn their eyes. The item you seek was in the manufactory. But you'll need a control rod to get a dwarven spider to unlock it for you. Why did you stop working with Barilazar? Because the mage wanted to send me to the far side of Valdenfell, and I need to remain here. I'm not going anywhere until I make the Burn Clan pay for what it did to my brother. If you can kill some of the bastards, that'll be a start. Okay, goodbye. So we, uh, we've officially talked to everybody, right? Oh, so we gotta go back above. I don't know why I did that. Not really rapport hunting. I mean, I can do it on alt characters and stuff, but with shared achievements and everything, the keepsake now belongs to everyone. So we gotta go to three different locations, right? We got one, two, three. So where are we right now? We're de uh okay, we're right here. So let's uh take the way shrine here, then I guess this one, and then this one's definitely gonna be last because we don't have a way shrine anywhere near that one. We're gonna have to fly. For Narnia! For Narnia! That was perfect. We for Narnia twice and it it paid off. Bam! That was a lot faster than I expected. So where's the first one? The first one is... This way. Uh oh. There better be remorse! My god. <laughs> well, alright then. I feel like we were here not that long ago. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So this is the one with the dwarven spiders. But the one with the dwarven spiders, I think is the one... Is it the one that needs the control rod? Or the... Yeah, they, okay, so this is the one for the girl. This is the vampires. One, two, three. Let's go. Haha. -ha. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. I think I'm gonna kill everyone. Why not? Sit your butt down. These guys don't stand a chance, I'm sorry, but they just don't. Haha. -ha. Haha! -ha. Look at how much damage this does, it's insane. That's supposed to be a freaking Dragon Knight, maybe. And it's not even a damage... Like a really good damage class. You know what, I'm gonna kill everyone. <clears throat> oh! I saw these guys stand up and I thought I was gonna kill them. Ooh, there's more on the other side. For Narnia! What did, he, what did Bastion say? Legitimately have no idea. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're so kind. Alright, so whatever it is we're looking for is lowly crap. Hello. Drop it! That was easy. So these are the notes. Uh, it's one page, so I guess we'll give it a go. They call themselves the Bane, the Bernie, the Beamy, the Beam, the Bernie. I have no idea. Clan. Uh, the bastards. They got my brother, but they didn't get me. I've been watching for the shadows as 
uh, okay, fuck it. You guys can read this. <laughs> I am horrible at reading, okay? I'll read this later. I am the worst. Who's this? This spider won't give me its treasure, dear brother. Allow me, my sister. This should open a miserable construct like a <laughs> Way to go, dumbass. That was funny. Use the control rod? On spiders. How do I use the control rod on spiders? Oh. I literally just walk up to them. Hey, Star Steel. Oh! They're not all good! Good to know. They're not all good. That's over with, I suppose. Okay, that one seems to be okay. Hey, complete. So that's it, right? We got the... That was the inversion control conduit. So now we just leave. That was easy enough. You know what? I'm just going to fast travel. So otherwise it's going to take forever to get to the way shrine and then go... Fast travel to the other way shrine, then go down and whatever. We'll just fast travel. It'll be faster that way. And you guys will be happy. I will be happy. We will all be little happy. I have no idea why an ESO beginner's guide is on my YouTube right now, but pretty sure I don't need a beginner's guide at this stage of my my playing. Oh, you know what? I think I, I was playing it for my kids because my kids started playing ESO, so I was helping them. But they don't like the way I teach them the game, so I just put on a couple of beginner's guides for them. It's kind of funny, though, because... Uh, their account's already in the CP realms or areas. Oh, crap. I'm going the wrong way. I was going way the wrong way. Luckily, I was I didn't get too far, so we're 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 still golden. Except I hate that I hate going around like Red Mountain and stuff because it gets pretty it's pretty confusing. Oh, you don't see me. Let me see. Oh, we're already here. It's this. Yeah, it's right here. It's this delve. Oblivion, take you. Yeah, Bastion. Holy crap! That hurt a little bit. Might as well heal up a little bit because I almost killed myself. So Nuz Nuzchep, this is not the Nord. The Nord had that freaking two-word, really confusing one. This is the one to the person I think was a might it might have been a Breton. Not a hundred percent sure. Oh, maybe I should focus. Oh, that was easy enough. I don't even know how to say that. Nutilicheft. Not even gonna try. Oh, it's it's around here somewhere. I'm willing to bet it's downstairs, like way downstairs. You. Well, he's dead. You want some too, buddy? Let's dance. Ow, he hit me hard. Done. Sheath your weapons. The battle is won. Is there Oh my god, dude, there's a thing way down. Holy crap, I almost killed myself. Hello. Yeah. 
Vampire's Bane. It's kind of funny because you could be a vampire as a Templar. And it's actually one of the better classes to choose to be a vampire. Because the um, Templars have the ability to like lower the... I think it's lowering the cost of your ultimates or something like that. Or maybe get more ultimate faster. Found it. So, before I get out of here, I want to get... <coughs> that Sky Shard. Coming through. Good, they don't... Oh, crap. I'm not escaping this one. Ha! Oh, I almost missed. Well, there's no jumping up on that one. Ah, we made it. So, that's that one. Now let's go do the Nords one. I want to fight this boss. Where's this boss? <laughs> oh my god. That was funny. Sorry, homegirl. Where's Bastion? Is he dead? Heal up, Bastion. Even though you're not going to get hit at all. Alright, so the boss should be around here somewhere, right? Oh, you want some? I kind of remember. I think it's a Centurion if I remember correctly. Hmm. And it, and it definitely was in the middle of something, but maybe it's on the top. Okay, Bastion, keep up. I need you, buddy. <gasps> Actually, I think I just found the boss. That was <laughs> that was one hundred percent an accident, dude. Oh, glory. Let's do some damage mitigation. This dude is literally dead. That was not a very impressive boss. Like, at all. Dude, 400. That's a lot of freak. Well, I got 275k, so. We're golden for now. I can't believe I almost freaking killed myself by jumping down the way I did. Oh no, I hate this place. I have to go around, I think. Because there's no way through here. Oh, God. That, that. My bad. I'll let you get to your questing, my guy. Meanwhile, I have to figure out. Actually, I think I might have just figured, figured it out. I think it's a, pretty much a straight shot from here, isn't it? Ooh, and we get to find a way shrine here in a second. There it is. I love finding way shrines. Make life easier later. Alright. There's another way shrine a little up little ways ahead too. Might as well get it while we're on the way over there. Veloth is ancestral tomb. There it is. Okay. And then right then from there, it's literally just a straight shot to the location. Oh look, it's um... Those little transportation stuff. 
For the 80th time, help is on the way. No, it's not. For the 80th time, help is on the way. Okay. Get out of my way, you little cliff racers. The day is ours. No, it's not. Bastion, stay away from them. We got quests to do. How do I get in there? There's a sky shard there too. I want it. But more importantly... Oh, I gotta go through that bridge, don't I? Okay, back on my horse. So I... Wait! I found a book! Even though I don't think I need it because my mage's guild, I think it's maxed out, right? It is. I still gotta make a magic Templar, magic Templar for this. And a stamina Templar. Is that a boss? What is that? Is it just a statue? Is it down there? Seriously, guy? Screw it. I'm going down there. The guy in that sentence, by the way, was me. I was disappointed in myself. Because I literally... I literally ran from there to there. And then came in this direction. So I literally ran right by it. And Long story short, uh... I wasted my time. Story of my life. Story of my life. I'll just stop there before I get copyright strike. Okay. Not gonna try to say this name. Okay, maybe I did try it, but still, whatever. Hey, look. We're, that's it. We're done. Uh, Alright. I'm pretty sure that this... Okay, you know what? You guys can read this. If you guys want to read it, go ahead and push pause. I'll read it later. I can't read to save my life. Okay, so all I gotta do is go around. This is gonna be easy. <sighs> Kamehameha! Sit your butt down, ghostly figure. Oh yeah, this is the one where he said that there was, um... Ghost, ghost, uh, machines. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Hey, where are you going? <gasps> That's not a ghost machine. Wait, hold on. I don't even have to fight all these guys. What am I doing? Let me eat my cake. I don't even have a cake ready. So, what is it called? Well, first things first. Let me do that. Go over here. Cake. Yes, this is my first cake that I've ever had. It's pretty special. Gotta have that extra XP. Can't believe I didn't do that earlier. <clears throat> ha! Very nice. Yeah, we're the, uh... Where the tonal consistently, uh, consistency, the torque of tonal consistency really comes in clutch is on longer fights. The short fights not so much because it really doesn't matter. They're usually dead before I'm even done with one bar anyways. <clears throat> Don't burn me! 
That was a hardcore trap, my god. So I got all three, right? So now, whoops. So now I just go, I just leave. Um, yep, I do. 400 again. One second. There we go. I went up to one of my other pages and I accidentally clicked something and I got to, had to fix it real quick. <clears throat> okay. This one's proving to be a little bit faster than I expected. I thought this one was going to take long, especially for that one we just did because it was way out of the way. And we haven't discovered anything close to it, so there was a lot of travel time, but it, it wasn't that bad. I think I kind of want to change the chest piece on this character. I want something bulkier. She like kind of like Bastion. You know how he's got like very heavy armored top half and then like a skirt. You don't get a dragon or uh, not a dragon knight. A uh, a uh, what are they called? What are those magic freaky a battle mage? You don't get the battle mage look out of it. Arrived, or is this you returning? Can't always keep the cogs and pistons in line. Whatever you say there, guy. Ah, I remember. The components for the tonal inverter. Were you able to acquire them? Yes. Yes, I have. I recovered some Sonance generator, the inversion conduit, and the manual clockwork shaft. Impressive. Yes. I never see you again. That's what usually happens when I employ hirelings to acquire rare and exotic items from dangerous locations. Well, the great gear doesn't dawdle, neither do I. Hand them over and I'll get to work. Well, here you are, as you requested. <laughs> now he's gonna... Inverter coming up. He's gonna go from conceptualization this to an actual green. working product in a matter of seconds. <sighs> Almost done. There. He hammered like three things. Do you like it, my latest creation? I call it the tonal inverter. Did I mention that already? No matter. It should counteract Sofa Seal's modified staff, at least momentarily. I assume you know how to use this, correct? You just created it, dude. How am I supposed to know how to use it? No, I don't know how to use the tonal inverter. Of course you don't. I just invented it, honestly. You won't use it anyway, not if you plan to fight the one who wields Sotha Seal's staff. I like him. Almost impossible to operate the tonal inverter while also engaged in battle. It's too cumbersome. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might not look like the way his outfit looks, but I like him personally. I think he's a cool and funny guy. Uh, <clears throat> so how do I use the count? Uh, how do I use it to counteract uh, Sunara? <coughs> the Sunara, the Blessed Staff? Uh-huh. I suppose the name fits, sort of. You'll need someone to assist you. Someone you trust. Oh, not me. Too busy. <laughs> but using the tonal inverter is definitely a two-person activity. Bastion? It's gonna be... It's gonna be what's-her-name? Uh, Sen Senra? Oh my god, I forgot her name. Her... The, the sister. I can't remember her name. For I, I, I it's just uh, okay. Yeah, is a tonal inverter uh, hard to use? <laughs> Easy as scrib jelly pie. One person operates the controls to generate the sound waves. When it reaches the proper pitch, you activate the inverter and discharge its energy to disrupt Sunara's power temporarily. Here, I read you instructions. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we now have counteracting measures against the almighty staff. So in a sense, we've we've gotten the great equalizer. Where are we going? Okay, so we're going back. Let's go. We're not we're not paying to fast travel. So Wait, how do I get to the Oh, it's right here. I, I made a wrong turn. Um. What are you doing? I can't believe this is really necessary. 
Sorry, Bastion. It's not necessary. Get your butt over here. I wasn't trying to go there. Did I lose rapport? Let me let me look. Not that it really matters, but no. Good. We did not lose any rapport. There's something wonderful about wandering a city streets with no destination. Yeah, 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 Bastion. Good job. Your presence defiles the city, Ashlander. How do <gasps> you demand to see our god? Saren, that's her I'm name. I'm here to help. Oh no, boy, in armatures. Listen to me. Listen to the Outlander. Yes, Thanks listen to me. I'm a master. The Outlander has returned. Was Barozau able to help us? Uh, yeah, actually. Pay no attention to this Ashlander. She's been blathering on about Lord Vivek's condition and how she can help. But I'm certain it's a trick of some sort. <laughs> I was just about to have her thrown out of the city or possibly tossed to the slaughter fish. She's literally- all you hear is whining in the background. It's funny. That's Saren. Chalota's sister. She helped me in Alduin. Aldu That. I know who she is. I still don't trust her, and I refuse to let her anywhere near Lord Vivek. Who knows what an Ashlander would do while the warrior poet is in such a fragile state. Did I tell you that she was actually best, uh, blessed by Meridia- uh, not Meridia, uh, Azura? She's actually Azura's champion. It's not even me. It's it's her. She's she's the special one. I'm just kind of here for the, for the ride. Which in a sense kind of makes me like the story even more, because I'm not the end all be all superhero that these kind of stories likes to tell all the time. You know. Uh, I need her help. It's gonna take two of us to operate Balthazar's tonal inverter. A tonal what now? Well, since I can't go with you. Or with Lord Vivek requiring my undivided attention, I suppose we'll have to let the Ashlander assist you. Very well. Take her and defeat Chodra. Then bring me a staff so we can restore Vivek. Just ignore Bastion. He's not really here, you know? Sooner Ra will soon be in our hands. Hey, Saren. <laughs> okay. Hi, Saren. If that old idiot is what passes for a tribunal leader, it's no wonder the houses are in such disarray. No time to dwell on that, though. I found my brother, and it's worse than I feared. Chodala's quest for power has led him down a dark path. What do you mean, a dark path? Chodala and his most loyal followers have taken refuge in a ruin called Kaush Tarari. It's an ancient shrine <sighs> devoted to the Daedric Prince Malakath. I think my brother plans to ask the God of Curses to help him. Uh, well, I mean, I've got a device that will counter sooner Ra, but I need your help to use it. It will allow us to stop Chodala? Then of course I'll help you. Since the Tribunal's dogs took my weapons, I'll need to replace them. Meet me at the ruins when you're ready. Okay, I'll see you at Ku... Kushatari. Kushatari. I have no, I'm sure I messed butchered that, but okay, whatever. Pretty sure it has nothing to do with Atari or Kush. <laughs> Dang, that's kind of far. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. We'll get there. In no time. Run! Ignore them, Bastion! They're just stupid beetles. I just said ignore him, and then you just decide to attack? Nobody listens to me anymore. God. The sounds here do sound pretty good, though. Like the thunder. It really sounds devastating here. Which, kind of, which obviously makes sense because of Red Mountain. I just can't remember... Did Red Mountain erupt at this t uh, this early? I think it did. Ooh. Fascinating. Uh. The Sijiks manipulate magical forces to bypass the limitations of the physical world, creating mystical impossibilities like that portal. 
I actually never heard him say that. I don't know why. I, it's not the first time I've closed Sigic portals. Oh man. <laughs> hey, what's up, Saren? Here we are, on the Furious One's bloody doorstep, preparing to enter Daedric Ruin to try to stop my brother's march toward power. I hope that device you mentioned really can counter the invulnerability granted by the staff sooner or. I mean, there's only one way to find out, and uh, yeah, this could go really well or really bad. Take this, it's a tonal inverter. It should disrupt the staff's power for a short amount of time. Well, <laughs> that's larger than I expected. But it looks simple enough to operate. I suppose it's better that I work the device. I'm not sure I'm capable of attacking Chodora. <sighs> he's still my brother, no matter how dangerous his beliefs have become. But he's a Chode. Allah. <laughs> uh, take a look at these instructions. Uh, they explain how to use a tunnel inverter. I'll help you counter the effects of Sunara. Maybe once we neutralize it, Chodala will listen to reason. I know that's probably just wishful thinking. I'll settle for finding out who tempted Chodala with that dumb stuff. Maybe you can clarify a few points before we head inside. Go ahead. <clears throat> ask your questions. Then head into the ruins. I'll be right behind you. We'll ask a pretty weird question first. Who's Malkath? Malakath's an evil god, the Daedric Prince of Curses and Broken Promises. Perhaps that's why Chodala has sought him out. The prophecy of the Nerevarine was Chodala's to fulfill before it was wrenched away from him. Could Malakath be involved in what's happening, in to, uh, uh, happening to Vivek? Perhaps, but I don't think so. The Oathbreaker prefers a more direct approach. He isn't one to hide behind convoluted schemes and plots. That's more like Ball. Still, if Malakath agrees to support my brother, we'll have one more problem to deal with. Uh, I saw you and the Arch Cannon arguing back in Vivek City. Why have you agreed to help us? <clears throat> it's true, I have no love of the Tribunal. I also have no stomach for a war between my people and the Great Houses. Too much blood will be spilled to no good end. Even Azura proclaims that my brother must be stopped. I'll help you in any way I can. Thank you. You're a good person. I like her a lot, man. I think she might be one of my favorite characters in this DLC so far. Uh, actually, I, actually, I don't even think it's contestable. I think she is my favorite. Uh, why would Chodala seek refuge in Daedric's shrine? The tribes rejected him. Azura set her face against him. Now Chodala is seeking aid wherever he can find it. That makes him more desperate than I imagined, and more dangerous. Why he decided to solicit Malakath, the god of curses, I have no idea. Yes, that's dangerous. Alright, let's go inside. I am now upstanding, finally. I don't want to be dangerous. <coughs> Any minute now. Kosh... Kosh... Star... I cannot pronounce anything in Elder Scrolls. Elder Scrolls is one of my favorite IPs. Fallout is probably my number one. I've said this multiple times. But Elder Scrolls is a close second and not, not too far behind, you know? But God, dude, if God... Trust me when I'm telling you this, dude. As much as I love Elder Scrolls, I can't pronounce a freaking word. Nothing. They've been slaughtered. Not this guy. Chodala, he's gone mad. Sought to make a deal with a Daedric Prince. I think I have that outfit. It's called like the Ashland or something, I believe. What happened here? Chodala appealed to Malakath, but the God of Curses rebuked him. He killed us all. Said Chodala already served another. <laughs> Nobody likes Chodala. Nobody like at all. That's cr I I feel I kind of feel bad for him. Where can I find Chodala? He went deeper into the ruins into Malakath's shrine Okay, goodbye My dogs are over there howling. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I have a 
noise reduction and a suppressor on, so chances are you guys don't, but still, they're howling pretty loud. They don't belong to Malakath. Another prince's power is at work here. Huh. That's weird that a... Me, Malakath. I am the Nerevari. Chodala, brother, stop this madness. Are we gonna beat him now? You bring this outlander to kill me, sister. You can't harm me. I have a powerful patron on my side. The staff protects him. You can't hurt him until we use the tonal inverter. I need a moment to get this working. It literally looks like the Millennium Falcon with a hook at the end. What is that? No matter. You are no longer worth my time. Scarfin! They serve the Prince of Bargains. Keep them busy while I finish the this. The Prince of Bargains? The tonal inverter is ready. Stand in the field and focus the wave. Why would, um... What's his... Uh... Crap, I can't remember his name. He has that dog. Oh my god, I can't remember his name. It says defeat Chodala, but... Oh, that's why. Ooh, what are we doing? Dude, we just stuck a laser up his butt. My protective shield. What have you done? It's gone. I destroy all of you for this. <clears throat> I honestly didn't mean to do that. That was an accident, but. As soon as it dropped, he died, so... <laughs> Azura, we've dealt with the false Nerevarine, just as you commanded. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Who's gonna take it? Am I gonna take it? Are you gonna take it? Is Bastion gonna take it? That was harder than I expected. Chodala was so angry, so full of rage. Not like himself at all. Still... I can't believe I helped kill my own brother. Yeah, thank you for that. I'm just kidding. Uh, we did what was necessary. I know that. It was either Chodala or the lives of hundreds of Dunmer. Oh, my Maybe heart. Because he convinced himself he was the Nerevarian. Or someone convinced him. Either way, my brother is dead. And the Cavern of the Incarnate has another resident. Uh, we should return to Vivek City. Take Sunara, and I'll meet you back in Vivek City. Your arch cannon made it quite clear that the staff was the key to saving Vivek. I need to take care of my brother's remains. Then we'll be done here. Okay, goodbye. Should I just fast travel there? I think I'm just gonna fat wait. I kinda need to take Sunara. Uh, Plavik is vile, by the way, was his name. The Prince of Bargains. But why would... I'm kind of wondering though, like, why would Clavicus... Is she crying? Oh, my heart. Oh, that... That's so sad. It's like... You can't... Uh, like, I can't imagine. Imagine knowing you had to kill your own brother. Even though you love him because he is your brother. I feel bad, that's sad. Shut up. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. Vivek's private chambers. He's not even in the freaking main chamber anymore. Oh my god, what is he in bed? <gasps> he is in bed. He's dying, my god. Oh, this is terrible. Lord Vivek collapsed. Tell me, Outlander, were you able to defeat Chodolon? Have you brought me a staff? I'm afraid Lord Vivek may not last much longer. Yeah, the Chode is dead. Uh, I mean, excuse me, uh, we defeated Chodola and brought back the Sunara. And just in time. 
According to my calculations, with every use of Sunara, Chodala drained more energy from Lord Vivek. It almost killed him. We can use the staff to save Vivek. Just plant it in the floor, and the power will return to him. I'll plant Sunara on the floor and return Vivek's power to him. Why is there so many Daedric gods or princes involved in this storyline? Oh, wait, I gotta- I still gotta do this. Whoa! Perfect. It's working just as I expected. Is it? This what does not doing? look good. It's killing him! What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave! I'm trying, it's not doing anything! Um, I think my game is broken. Let me try to reload UI. Whoops. <clears throat> Please don't be broken. So then the Arch Cannon is also a bad guy. Come on, work. Why won't I, why can't I move? Yeah, it's not working, man. I think I'm going to have to log out and log back in. I can't. Oh, there we go. Let me let's let's try that. I really hope it's not broken. Please don't let it be 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 broken. <sighs> I'd be very sad if it is. We're over here trying to fix this whole situation while Vivek is literally dying right now. Okay, good. So we have to do this all over again. Oh, this is okay, I'm just going to skip through everything. Let me get Bastion out of the way. What is going on right now? Oh, dude, I got like insane ping right now. <laughs> I magically get stunned. Perfect. It's working just as I expected. What are you doing? It's killing him. What did you expect? That's the point of all this, after all. I've powered up the tonal inverter. Activate the wave. There we go. Bastion, do something. You're not stunned. Oh, <gasps> it's freaking Barbus. You're too late. I see it now. The Clockwork City. Look at what Barbus found for you, Master. Clavicus Vile. Oh my god. He died. I knew something was wrong as soon as I approached the palace. I could feel it in my bones. Oh, he's still breathing. I was on my way here when Azura showed me a vision. I saw Sunora killing Vivek. Even without Chodala, that damn staff is dangerous. The Archcannon seemed to know that Sunora wasn't going to help Lord Vivek. I don't think that thing was ever the Arch Cannon. It called itself Barbus. As an Ashlander, I'm more familiar with Daedric law than most of the elves of the Great Houses. Beyond that, I've made a study of the most prominent Daedric princes. Why are uh, Daedra relevant to all of this? Because Barbus is a loyal servant of the Daedric Prince. Clavicus Vile. Vile. 
I'm not an expert on the Prince of Bargains, but it seems to me that this was all part of some grand plan. Perhaps Vivek can explain things better than I can. Yeah, my god, dude, that's insane. Hey, dead Vivek. Shura's champion is correct. That was Barbus, faithful hound of Clavicus Vile, a shapeshifter. He killed the Arch Cannon, took his place. Chodila sought the seal's device, impersonating Tarvas. It was all part of some elaborate plan. But I don't understand if he's really that powerful. Wouldn't he be? Wouldn't he have known that it was Barbus and not the Arch Cannon? Plan? They tried to kill you. That was simply a consequence. We needed tribunal energy to locate the Clockwork City. I was the easiest target. If Barbus enters Sotha Seal City, disaster will follow. I appreciate your help, but I must conserve what remains of my energy. Yeah, I figured. <coughs> wow. Who that? What happened here? Where's the arch cannon? Oh, I got something to tell you, my friend. Oh, by the three, Lord Vivek looks terrible. Where's arch cannon Tarvis? He always seems to know what to do in situations like this. He's kind of a dick. A.K.A. Barbus, you know, Clavicus Violin and all that. He tricked us all into, uh, he tricked us all, and now Vivek's energy is nearly depleted. Barbus? The Daedric Hound? Uh-huh. Wait, wait, I, d I don't understand any of this. But if Lord Vivek's energy has been depleted, then the Moonlit, Red Mountain, my gods, all of Vardenfell is in danger. Yep. There must be something we could do. If only there was a way to give Lord Vivek some energy. Wait. That's it. A blessing stone. Find the overseer and retrieve another stone from the construction site. Oh, please, hurry. I've never seen Lord Vivek in such a desperate state. I'll talk to the overseer and get another bl uh, another blessing stone. I expect the overseer's near the unfinished cantons, watching out for looters. When people panic, they're capable of anything. And with all the chaos going on outside, the overseer closed the construction site. Get her key and bring back a stone. Why are the people in panic? A few moments ago, Red Mountain erupted and the moonlit above the city dropped dangerously low in the sky. I assume that was when Lord Vivek's energy was depleted. If we don't find a way to restore some of his power and soon, Vardenfell is doomed. Oh, God. What are you going to do while we retrieve the Blessing Stone? Well, what about Barbus? Uh, I'm not sure. But our first priority must be to restore some of the Lord Vivek's energy. After that, he can tell us what we need to do next. Did Barbus give any indication as to why he did this to Lord Vivek? No, I'm not completely sure. But it seemed uh, to have something to do with the Clockwork City. So the Seal's private domain. It said that the place holds the secret to remaking Nern. I suppose that would interest Barbus and his <coughs> master, Clavicus Vile. But Clockwork City can wait. The moonlit hanging above us, not so much. What are you going to do while I retrieve the Blessing Stone? Someone has to take care of Lord Vivek. I'll make the preparations necessary to return the power and the Blessing Stone to him. I'm really operating above my station here. I'm not the Arch Cannon, after all. And then again, neither was Tarvis, I suppose. Yeah, all right, goodbye. Man, that was crazy. How do I get out of here? What in the world is going on outside? Red Mountain, it's erupting. Save us. Holy! F oh my God! We gotta fix this ASAP. This is scary. Oh my God! 
Come on, let's go! This is... Okay. I like this story a lot. Oh fuck, I missed! Oh dude, I barely made it, that was insane. Wait, what the hell? Is it over here? Aw oh, man, I jumped down for no reason. So much for the urgency. Hey, you! My wife decides to run out and chase some damned looters in the middle of a disaster. Who does that sort of thing? You'd think Lord Vivek's overseer would have a clearer head. Uh, the Overseer? I need to find her for Lord Vivek. She ran into the unfinished cantons. She's been beating herself up over the fact that they're behind schedule, but she won't do anyone any good if she gets herself killed. My wife's tough as nails, but she's no warrior. Is her wife the one that helped us out last time? Uh, I'll find the Overseer and make sure she's okay. Okay, so where's it at? So, talk to the construction worker? You! We barely got out of there alive. Nord. I can't believe the Overseer's still in there. <gasps> What's she going to do when the Canton sinks into the bay? The Overseer's uh, still at the construction site? Yes. The Overseer ran in there when she saw the looters. We tried to follow, but then the moonlit began raining fire, ash, and chunks of rock. Last I saw, she was chasing the looters into the far Canton. Why would the looters risk their own lives? Greed is a powerful motivator. We left tools and materials just sitting around, unprotected, when the priests ordered everyone to get off the streets. Looters happily risk their lives if there's a profit to be made. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I get it. Search the construction site. Overseer! I need to find you fast or or we're all gonna die. Who the hell are you? Oh. After they said like a million times there's looters in here. I guess I should have known. Man, I hate it when they CC me a little bit. Is this her? So, maybe I misunderstood. Is someone else the wife of the girl that was outside, or is the overseer the girl outside's wife? I, I want to say it's the overseer. <clears throat> Another looter. You want a taste of my steel, too? No, wait. I remember you. You borrowed one of our blessing stones. The arch cannon returned it after Lord Vivek was finished with it. So no need to fret about that. Well, funny thing about that. Lord Vivek needs to borrow the Blessing Stone again. That's impossible. We installed the Blessing Stone back in its canton and finished construction on that section a short time ago. Wait a moment. Does this have something to do with the chunks of rock raining down on the city? I mean, let's just say that it's vital that I get that Blessing Stone for Lord Vivek. I suppose <laughs> you're in luck then. Hey, you it happen is. to have another Blessing Stone. It's at the third canton. Here, this key will open the door to that portion of the construction site. Just watch out for more looters and the rocks falling out of the sky. I'm not worried about the looters. The rocks, however, that's a different story. But anyways, I met your wife. She is so worried about you, girl. Go over there and make sure she's okay. Verona? Was she still angry with me? No, you don't have to answer that. <laughs> you my wife. I'll head back and let her know I'm all right. Tell Lord Vivek he can have our Blessing Stone, as long as he promises to do something about Bar Dao. Well, we'll see. It's kind of out of my... My hands. Retrieve the Blessing Stone. Third Canton. Uh, it's right there. Can I just jump down? Ha! Yes! Uh-oh. That was easy enough. I'm pretty sure that rock destroyed that person. So now that I got it. Sit down. You're not gonna do anything. Stop acting. 
How do I get out of here? So is this... Did I just escape the canton? I think I did, right? My god, look at all these worried people. I feel terrible, man. I'm, I'm over here saying, I'm seeing, I'm thinking to myself, I wish I could help him. Right behind you, partner. But I'm, I'm literally helping him. <laughs> I guess I kind of feel like I'm not doing enough. Even though I'm doing the most important thing I could potentially do. Is this guy dressed as a boy in armager? Yeah, he is. He's he's literally dressed like a boy in armager. Raining fire from the sky. Lord of the Vex, save us. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll get this situation rectified as fast as possible. <gasps> Sounds like the city is falling apart out there, so there isn't much time. You have no idea, my friend. <clears throat> Were you able to get another blessing stone? We need to restore some of Lord Vivek's energy before the moonlit falls out of the sky. I retrieved the Blessing Stone. Perfect. I can feel Lord Vivek's essence inside it. I hope I remember how to do this. You'd better stand back, just in case. Alright. I'm not standing too far back. I'll stand... right here. You know what? Hang on, Lord Vivek. Sweet energy. Like a sip of water <coughs> for a thirsty man. That's it? A little pea strain of energy? Oh, thank the three. Lord Vivek looks better already. Of course, the Blessing Stone is only a temporary measure. We still need to determine what to do about Barbus and the stolen energy. I mean, I'm ready to do whatever I can. As Lord Vivek has written, the bravest heart never falters. You are truly the Vex champion. I didn't know if the Blessing Stone was going to work, but I appreciate your help. Now go and talk to Lord Vivek. I'm sure he has a plan to share with us. Done. Of course. <laughs> uh. Well, I'm not really doing any... Outlander. ...thing like that for this. My time grows short. So, hello. Clarity emerges like sunlight breaking through the clouds. Barbus must have replaced the arch cannon weeks ago. All to set the wheels in motion to steal my divine energy. He went to a lot of trouble just to steal your divine energy. Every move has a purpose. Stealing my energy so discord and disaster throughout the land and ultimately revealed the location of the Clockwork City. If Barbus and his master can bypass the wards and enter Sofa Seal's domain. Um, by the way, a link to my Discord is in the description below if you guys are interested in that. Uh, a lot of people in my Discord play a lot of uh, ESO and Fallout 76 if that's something if you guys are interested in. If not, the ESO side is there for you too um, if you guys are interested. Uh, this has all been a ploy to find the Clockwork City. Clavicus Vile distracted me, weakened me, all to locate the Clockwork City. Perhaps we require a Daedra to fight a Daedra. Azura's champion, Saren, in Arch Cannon's office. Seek guidance from her patron. But hurry, my time grows short. I'll find Saren and see if Azura can help us. You know, this is cool, because apparently I'm the champion of Vivek, and Saren is the champion of Azura. So where am I going exactly? Apparently, apparently just outside. This should go to the same location, right? Yeah, okay. It's just the opposite side, but yeah, basically the same thing. God, that is terrifying. 
Let's ride. Come on, Bastion. We got some saving to do. Arch Cannon's office. That bastard. To be fair, he was killed, but Outlander, still. Over here. I've been trying to find something that makes sense of all. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's Azura. You gonna say anything? Mortal. The Lady, the Lady of, Twilight of Twilight has words, words for you. you. Okay. So Vivette deigns to ask for help. I foresaw such an event, but scarcely believed it. Listen well. For if you continue to perform flawlessly, we might yet thwart the efforts of Clavicus Vile and his hound, Barbus. Uh, Lord Vivex said to ask you for guidance in this matter. <clears throat> Just as I anticipated, the mysteries reveal that Barbus seeks to enter the Clockwork City. So far, so the sealed wards have impeded him, but the Hound has Sunra. You must beat him to the prize, the reservoir that holds Vivek's stolen energy. Uh, do you know where the Clockwork City is located? Such knowledge has been hidden even from me. I know where it's at. But I know someone who can provide you with the means to travel to Sotha Seal's creation. Stand back, and I shall summon the Mage of Cogs and Gears. Oh, all right. It's literally right here. Clockwork City. <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. Now, where in oblivion am I? Mage, this, this mortal speaks, speaks with the authority of the mother's soul. Well, that was interesting. Interesting. Summoned by a daedric prince and her mortal mouthpiece. <laughs> in the middle of a crucial experiment. But I suppose I can spare a few clicks of the cogs for Azura and my erstwhile assistant. So, did you break the tonal inverter? No, actually, the total uh, inverter worked fine. Azura wants to uh, wants you to help me get to the Clockwork City. No, not going to happen. No offense to the Lady of Twilight, but Sotha Seal was quite adamant about keeping the place hidden and warded against the Daedra. Wait. Pistons fall into place. This concerns Sunora and Lord Viveka, I presume. Well, first of all, I'm not a Daedra. Second of all, yes. Barbus tricked us into draining Lord Vivex's uh, divine energy. Barbus, another Daedra. Thinking. I know, it's weird. Thinking. So, so the seal's forgotten tools modified to steal Vivex's energy, which in turn energized the Clockwork City. Lit it up like the top of Red Mountain. Even Vile's dog would be able to see that. Uh, can you get me to the Clockwork City or not? What is Barbus after? Wait, gears click into place. The reservoir. You need to reach the reservoir that contains Vivex stolen energy before Barbas. I can get us to the entrance in Set's vault beneath the Mournhold Temple. Ready to go? You're coming with me? All right, let's go. Oh, it's a straight up portal. You'll need my help. I know the city almost as well as so the sea. He said. Follow me. He said Mournhold, right? I want to see him go through. Okay, let's go. <coughs> Clockwork City Fault. <coughs> All right. I think the Hound used Sonora to get inside. We have to hurry. Don't worry. Damn, that means they're close to the freaking entrance. Shoot them. That's the last of them. I I pushed the button like four times to shoot the uh, vampire's bane. 
It didn't work though. I meant to block that, but I was a little too late. One hundred percent my fault. Hello. Ooh. Tough for you. Yeah, there's a there's a big lag going on right now, dude. Big big lag. I can't hear a word you're saying, my friend. Oh, I just turned tiny. I want to go to the other side. Oh, he's right there. Oh, they saw me. <laughs> so much for that plan. You can talk to the dangerous dog if you want, and follow me into the maintenance junction. I I do want to talk to Barbus for sure. You may <clears throat> not believe this, but I really am happy to see you. I grew rather fond of you while I inhabited that dreadful dark elf form. Now you get to see me in all my glory. And soon, you'll be able to witness my greatest achievement. And what great achievement is that? I'm going to bring <coughs> my master's grandest plan ever to fruition. He'll be so proud of me. Just stay out of my way and enjoy the show. I promise it will be highly entertaining. Your master's greatest plan? Oh, yes, indeed. <coughs> the grandest. My master and his partner seek to... Oh, no, no, no. Bad, Barbus. I almost gave away the surprise. Oh, you're a tricky one, you are. But my master will be so pleased that I stepped in and made his plan even better. Uh-oh. He, I'm sure he made, he compromised the plan. Uh... How long were you disguised as Tarvis? Worried about the arch cannon. The poor old man. He died in his sleep, all peaceful like. I saw an opportunity and leapt right in. Stupid Vivek. He never even noticed. I was masterful in the role, though. Don't you agree? Not really. You were kind of a dick. I kind of suspected you were weird. Uh. But, anyways, why go through all this trouble just to get into Clockwork City? <clears throat> the master has been trying to find this place for the longest time. He actually set the ball rolling. I saw an opportunity to improve his plan and make it better, so I took the initiative. This will get me back in my master's good graces, you'll see. Yeah, I don't think it will. Nice chat, but I've got to run. I've got a barrel of the energy to collect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Barbus, you're an idiot. You're never gonna get on his good graces. Clavicus Vile is just that vile. That should take care of the defenses. At least the most dangerous ones. I can barely hear you, but okay. I disabled most of the defenses in this section, but so the seal installed numerous safeguards. I advise caution just in case. Barbus is ahead of us, but I know many paths through the city. Just like the fox that chased the hound. But can we really catch up to Barbus? <clears throat> With my help, the probability calculates in your favor. But you must keep moving. The hound won't dawdle. Unless he comes upon an interesting smell. Or a tree. Since we know Barbus's ultimate destination, I can open routes he can't access. Okay, but you said you disabled their defenses? Most of them. Might be a random contraption or a wandering factotum still out there. And if Barba smuggles in more Daedra, the other defenses will become active. Clear the path while I open the route. Then I'll catch up and join you. Uh, we know where Barbus is going. Only one logical place. To the atelier where Sotha Seal conducted his study of divine energy. Sooner I would have sent the stolen power there. It's not far. 
What Barbas and his master want with Vivex energy, though, remains unclear. Okay, here I go. So now it's uh, navigate the maintenance junction. Goodbye, robots. Whoa. I almost ran into that one. Oh, I almost ran into that one again. Run! Haha. -ha. Uh oh. I guess I gotta go slowly on this one. These things do some insane bleed damage if I remember correctly. Okay, so kill these guys. Push a button. Got it. I love it when there's that weird lag where they just kind of stand there floating for a few minutes. Or seconds, I mean. Cruise! Thank you, thank you. Above. So he's a. You are persistent. I'll give you that. He's barely ahead of me. Ha! Wait, hold on. So I won't be able to go through here, right? No. Okay, I didn't think so. So find another path. I mean, it's literally just the op opposite side. Too easy, my friend. Ha! I did that like a freaking ninja. Shut up. That guy was, uh, not very tough, I have to say. This feels like the final mission, man. Joy found a way through, just like you said. What Barbus has sooner on? What does the next toy have? The Bastion. Next toy has me, you annoying creature. This you too. <laughs> the next toy has me. Master, I'm close to our goal. With the next energy, I can open a portal. And... That's it. Okay. What the hell's going on? Okay, I can't even use my ability. There we go. That was weird. No, stop moving! Meanwhile, Bastion's just chilling, going through it like it's nothing. All done. Glad that you don't want to help me fight them or anything. It's okay. I I don't need them. One of Sophia's favorite atelier. I think Barbus is already inside. <gasps> That's the atelier behind me. Not only is this the workshop where Sophia experimented with divine energy, it also has is one of the reservoirs that can be used to power the entire city. A reservoir currently filled with Vivex energy. And Barbus is in there? Almost certainly. Sunara led him right to it. It won't take the Hound long to figure out how to access Vivex stolen energy. Then he'll try to open a portal for his master, Clavicus Vile. I'm not sure I understand the purpose of the Alt... Atelier... That. As I said, 
The atelier is the workshop where Sotha Seal used Sonora to experiment with his own divine energy. The reservoir located inside was specifically designed to contain such massive power. As far as workshops go, it's a masterpiece. Can Barbus actually use Vivek's energy to open a portal? Maybe. Probably. It's a distinct possibility. Certainly the Hound and his master think so. Whether it will actually work or not, you have to go in there and stop him. The danger is too great to ignore. Let's go stop Barbus. No, no, that's inadvisable. The atelier has defenses. You have no idea what it will do if it marks one of Sofa Seal's apprentices as an enemy. Neither do I. You go. I'll use the controls over there and help you from out here. Of course. All right, I'm going in. Not surprised. He hasn't helped me yet anyways. <laughs> you can't stop me if the defenses won't let you in. I am not scared of this guy. That was easy. Oh wait, I have to do something up there. <clears throat> More defenses. Bastion, you get that over there? I'll focus on the big guy. Open the North Fork and destroy its defenses. Courage brings victory. Will do. <coughs> Should be easy enough. I mean, that first one was cake. Destroy the South Core and unlock the platform. Got him. Touch is active. Open it and enter the energy reservoir. I mean, the, the boss fights are not very impressive, but I've liked the story so far a lot, and I think that's more important personally. Barbus is manipulating the energy reservoir. Hurry! I'm trying. I can only go as fast as this thing stops. <laughs> oh, that looks cool. Yes. Wear something special when I kill you. He hit me really freaking hard. Where'd he go? Let me give you a taste of divine power. What did he just do? Can I actually do damage? Yes, I can. Barbus really isn't that strong, is he? Hit him with the freaking... Oh, I can't. I couldn't hear the clicking. Dead. got more health. That's rude. Stop it. Where is he? <laughs> this has to be it, right?
There we go. Barbus is now dead. He's not actually dead. Seize Sonora, then retrieve Lord Vivek's energy from the reservoir conduit. I already picked up Sunara. Lots of interference. Makes it difficult to lock onto a destination. Don't worry, I'll do this. Oh yes, that looks dope. Oh, I love it. Good and faithful hound. You have done enough for now. I was really hoping I could see Clavicus file. I love the blue. Beautiful. Okay, so where are we going? Through the portal? Tracking. To Vivek City. So this is it, right? We did it. We're the saviors. So, <gasps> you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. Um... Sure? Uh... How? Do I have to reload UI again? <sighs> Not U8I. I hope it works this time. Talk to me, damn it! I'm gonna have to log out. Again. Okay. Give me one second. To log out. And then immediately log back in. I just hope it doesn't mess this game up. Something had to happen right when it hit zero two. Come on, work. I mean, the last time, to be fair, it actually fixed the problem. So hopefully it fixes the problem this time around as well. <sighs> so, you're the mortal who gave my poor dog so much trouble. Uh-huh. I suppose we should have a chat, you and I. Why won't it let me? Oh, wait. Really? It's gonna make me. It. How dare you discipline my dog? <coughs> he was only trying to appease his master, and I'd never harm a hair on whatever insignificant creature you hold dear. You, on the other hand, require a lesson in manners. I can't believe it made me jump to be able to talk to him. Uh, Barbus tried to kill Lord Vivek and destroy Vardenfell. <coughs> Indeed. What ambition. As you can see, Barbus isn't a bad dog. He does get easily excited and overzealous. He embellished my plans somewhat, but it all worked out in the end. And... We found the Clockwork City! You were trying to uh, take control of Clockwork City? This little flea thinks it's smart, but my <coughs> plans are beyond its comprehension. Still, by delaying the inevitable, you caused my associates and I some trouble. You'll stay here until you're no longer a threat. How does a few decades sound to you? 
Uh, no thanks. I think I'll find my own uh, way out of here. Thank you, though. Quiet, dog. Haven't you? Wait. Who dares intrude upon my lesson? Found you. Over here. At... <laughs> oh. Clavicus file. This isn't good. Hello. I lost you somewhere <laughs> between the Clockwork City and Vivek. But it was simple enough to trace your energy signature to this Daedric tribe. Unfortunately, some power is interfering with my efforts to open a portal for you. Yeah, of course. It's a uh, Clavicus file, by the way. Uh, he wants to trap me here for a few decades. Uh, decades. Anything you could do to help by any chance? Oh, that would be unfortunate for you. Luckily, you have me to assist you. Well, me and Sonora. Expend a small amount of Vivex energy at the statue, and that should provide enough of a distraction for me to pull you out of there. Okay, I'll use Sunara on, Vi uh, on Vile statue. Got it. Be gone, meddling wizard! <laughs> he wasn't very happy. <coughs> that actually worked. It did. Well, glad to see you're still alive, assistant. Hurry, Outlander. The Vec is nearly spent. We're good. My time draws to a close. Were you successful? Can you restore my energy? I have the staff. But the last time it nearly killed you. <clears throat> so you retrieved my stolen energy. You stopped Barbus. Now, return what is rightfully mine. But how, uh, how can we be certain the staff won't harm you again? To quote my 75th exhortation, certainty is the brother of fear. Nothing is certain, but I have confidence in you, in what you have done. Use the staff, return my energy, or not. In a little while, it won't matter. All right, I'll use the staff. Oh, you sooner, and restore my energy. Here it goes, Kamehameha! It worked! Praise Vivek, his energy is restored. Remarkable. No Ordinator or Armager could have done any better. You uncovered a Daedric spy in our midst, brought a living god back from the brink of death, and <coughs> saved all of Vardenfell. Well done, my friend. I did what I could. As my next sermon shall proclaim. Modesty is the false cloak of a flatterer, or the sincere garment of the humble. Again, you have my gratitude, and that of all my people. Indeed, even those who rail against the tribunal owe you their lives. Yeah, okay. I knew... I should probably make a few slots, huh? Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's use that. 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 Okay, that's good enough. <laughs> you have done much for me and for Vardenfell. But as the warrior says, do not think the battle is over when the enemy is dead. The hearts and minds of the people must also be won. I must ask you for one more service. What do you need me to do? Gratitude is its own reward, I once told the crowds in Ebenhardt. But I found that some of my followers appreciate something more tangible help me reward those who aided in the saving of Bardenfell so we can reassure my people how can I help you reward people to start retrieve the archcanon's signet from the hall of wisdom it is time to appoint a new head priest I shall gather my people and meet you at my statue on the central canton it shall be a glorious ceremony my friend all right I'll get the signet and meet you at the ser at the central sa uh, canton. One last task before your service ends, my friend. 
Yay, yay. <clears throat> I do kind of feel bad a little bit for uh, the arch cannon. Because it... The, the way everything sounds, it kind of sounds like he was very loyal and everything. And then Clavicus Val just flat out murdered him in his sleep. Alright. So it's up here? Strange mirror. Signet. Okay, so that's everything that we were looking for. So now we got to go listen to the speech. Oh, it's over here. Rejoice. You curse the darkness with good reason. <clears throat> now praise the return of the light. Hello. The eyes and ears of the warrior poet returns. And just in time for the gathering crowd. Were you able to locate the arch cannon's signet? Uh, yes, I have the signet right here. Continue to guard it, for it represents not only my loyal servant Tarvis, but also the past and future of my priesthood. And take this as well, to aid you in your next task. What's in the bag? You have been my eyes and ears in the world. Now be my hands. Within the modest sack resides gifts for my faithful servants. Blessings from me, though I would have you deliver them. You served me in adversity. Now join me in celebration. What do you want me to do? <coughs> As I call forth my faithful, reach into the sack and give them the first thing you find. They shall hear my words of praise and gratitude, while it shall be your hand that rewards them. Are you ready, friend of Vivek? I'm ready. Overseer Shiralas, step forth. You and your wife should get rewarded. You sacrificed your blessing stones to aid the warrior poet. Well done. Take these recharged stones and finish building my city. After relaxing with your patient wife. Abs are freaking lootly. Thank you, Lord Vivek. I shall do as you ask. Her wife is should be ecstatic. <coughs> There he is. Your knowledge of the mysteries of my brother's Sofa Seal and the intricate twists and turns of portal magic were invaluable. Take this and use it well to further your experiments. Gemstones filled with a tiny fraction of divine energy. Amazing and so very generous. With careful tuning. This could improve portal magic a hundredfold. Thank you. Canon Levul, kneel before me. Was that? Did Lord Vivek summon me? Yeah, come on. Chop, chop. Arch Cannon Tarvis served us well until his death. <gasps> when I was most in Arch need Cannon? of assistance, Canon Levul rose to the occasion. Now rise once more as Arch Cannon. Yay! Levul. Congratulations, my friend. My lord, I'm not worthy. <clears throat> but I shall endeavor to become so. Thank you. Charge complete. My ancestors. In every poem, it's the last stanza that holds the most meaning. Once a stranger to our land, now a friend forever. Step forward. Wait, me? Bastion! Stop trying to take all the freaking thing, man. It's me. Come me with an empty sack, <laughs> but have no fear. As I have written, treat your enemies well and your friends even better. Know that I consider you to be a very good friend. Will you accept the honor I am about to bestow upon you? I mean, I, I wish I knew what you were going to bestow before I accept, but sure, why not? Then let it be known that from this moment forth, you shall be called the Champion of Vivek. And along with my thanks, take this modest reward. I for 
you'll see even greater achievements in your future. But for now, be content to be the hero of Morrowind. I'll take it. Thank you. Now go forth and rejoice. Why didn't Saren get anything out of it? She may be a Nashlander, but she was crucial and critical. Let me see that breastplate, by the way. What does it do? What does the... What does the Warrior Poet set do? Max health, armor, armor. More max health. Gain minor toughness at all times, increasing your max health by 10%. I mean, look, it, it sounds like a good, decent starter set, you know? For a tank. Okay. So that's it then. That's it. Alright guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this series. I gotta say, I actually really thoroughly loved this story. This so, It was so much fun. The story was very exciting. A lot of twists and turns. Uh, the person you thought was a bad guy was kind of like just a pawn to a pawn to a pawn. You know, so it was like, I don't know. Whenever you thought you knew what was going on, they added something else on top of it. It was exciting, especially at the end. When the the big giant meteor was like it was about to fall down on the city, when Vivek was go about to die and everything, I don't know. Overall, I think this story had everything I like in a story of Elder Scrolls. Um, and I mean that's really all I could say. You know, it's like there isn't much to say other than that. I had a blast with this story. Um, that's gonna conclude this story though. We are gonna visit um, you know Morrowind and Vardenfell again in the future. Just obviously not for the main story. This time around, though, we're going to be, uh, uh, when, when we return, we're going to be doing all the side quests and stuff like that. But that's way down the line. So something to keep, to look out for uh, in the future. As far as the next DLC goes, uh, I'm trying to do everything in sequential order of release since I'm so far behind. And if I understand correctly, I think after Morrowind was the Clockwork City. And then after Clockwork City was Somerset. So those are the next two DLCs coming up, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section down below. Also, let me know down in the comment section if you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. Uh, but with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.